Good morning, warriors. God, Derek Lee here with Praying for America. Matthew chapter 2, verse 16 reads, this is so, so good. It says, then Harold, when he realized that he had been misled by the wise men, mm -hmm. was furiously enraged. And he sent and put to death all the male ch uh, children in Bethlehem and in all that territory who were two years old and under reckoning according to the date which he had investigated diligently and had learned exactly from the wise men. So, you know, we're going to pray over America today because verse 17 says, then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. The word of God is going forth. His true servants are speaking. Harold decided to kill all of the children, the young men, the young boys, two years and under. You know why? Because he felt he was misled by the wise men, which was true. Let's pray for America. Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name that there shall be a misleading spirit upon the wicked in the land. In the mighty name of Jesus, that their evil plots and plans intended to destroy this land. In the name of Jesus, they would have been misled and their plans and plots will come to nothing. In Jesus' name, I speak fire into the enemy's camp. I speak the rolling of barley loaves. Mm in the enemy's camp as it was in the days of the Midianites and Gideon, Father God. In Jesus' name, I speak, my God, yes, Holy Ghost, I am calling for divine termites to come forth and go into the foundation of the enemy's plans and eat up their plans from its roots and destroy their plans against this country in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now. Father, as Harold was misled by the wise men, may wise men and women rise up across this country and may the wicked be misled in Jesus' name to destroy themselves, to destroy each other, to fight against each other, and to bring confusion, confoundment, disgrace, embarrassment, and dishonor within the camps of the wicked. And may the righteous stand, my God, by and watch these things unfold with our eyes, and may our ears hear the plans of God against the wicked being fulfilled. Father, we vow to give you the praise, glory, and honor. We have nowhere else to turn. We have no one to hope in but you. And we are counting on you, God, to save America, save your church, save your people, save the children. Father, in Jesus' name, and bless these United States of America. We will be so ever mindful and careful to give you and you alone all of the praise, the glory, honor, in Jesus' mighty name. And may the breath of God, the Ruha Kadosh, breathe and blow afresh in this direction today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glorious of God, I am calling for a misleading spirit to come upon the wicked in the land. May they be misled and may their plans come to nothing as divine termites are eating their plans from its foundation and they all crumble down in Jesus name. How about that? Well, you know what to do. Go out, have yourself a fabulous blessed day. Know this one thing, no devil in hell has permission to touch us. Keep the sword of the spirit sharp, my God, in Jesus name. Carry the breastplate of righteousness, belt the truth, helmet tight and neatly fit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and feet always ready to run with this gospel of peace. Until the next time, may God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Have a fabulous day. Let's stay warriors. Bye-bye.